everyone, as you can see I'm right here, and today we are going to be doing some, well, I'm talking about the RFRI Upgrade Revolution, it's the SDHC one, it's kind of old, but um, as you can see I'm Matt, and if we just look at our webs, this is what you should have got, now this is kind of an old version, because it doesn't have this anymore. This is um it doesn't say anything. This one is the newest one, but it looks like this without this. And it comes with a T flash which I already have ins inside my computer. And today let's just download some games. So go to coolrom.com and today I'm gonna be downloading let's just do download Mario Kart. As you can see I own Mario Kart right here. It's right here. I have all my games, but I just don't want to have my games. So what you do is you go to ROM search. Let's just search Mario Kart. Now it should come up under DS. You just want to make sure it's under Nintendo DS. Then you find the one with your country. I'm English, US. All right. So what you do you go all the way down to the bottom and it says download now I will not do that I will be doing the alternate download link which means I don't download install I download the game directly so what it's going to be doing is you just watch this and then you just wait until a button comes that says download now so click to play and then all you can do is just pause it and download your file it's a lot faster than the installer and that's why you just click on the alternate and then it will say Mario Kart DS.zip. Now what you're gonna do is you want to just save it to your desktop. So I'm just gonna download it right now. It's gonna take about a minute, so you just have that download. And you just wait for that to download and it will come up here. And then what you wanna do is you wanna pull up this. I already have some games on. Games. Don't. See, I have. A, I also have this one. I should probably just have one named Games. I'm gonna do that actually. You can also get homebrew games. Yes, I want to merge these. Now I have all my games in one file. Um. I downloaded the kernel which comes with Moonshell, which, um, what you do to download the kernel is, actually, you have to make sure to have it formatted, right, so what you want to do is you want to go to the website, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to r4i-sdhc, right, and that will download, the, then I will find r4i download, all you got to do is, um, download the kernel, right? And then that kernel you just um extract it to your um your card and hold now the phone is ringing. Great. This is just great. So ignore that. And what you do is you just go to here and then you find your kernel on the side. You actually have to here this is the one that I got. It says Wi Fi on it. So what you do is you just download the English one. And it gets downloaded. Oops, we're done. Yeah, yeah. And then all you gotta do is extract it and then run it. And all you gotta do is make a games folder. Yep. Right. And what you do is right. you open this. Sorry about that, by the way. And you just have to. You just have to copy it. You know, just drag it really and see how it copies and pastes really. And then it has to paste it. And then all you gotta do is after that is. There it is, and now you just quit out and extract your device. So now it's on a little mini or micro SD card. This is the T flash. Now all you do is you take your card. Take your card. Put the SD card in. Put it in. Start up and enjoy it. And there are 
it has a fake license, and there are even cheats for the game. All you gotta do is load up, and then, ta-da! You can now see there it is right here. Mario Kart is right there. You just press A, creates a save file, loads up. See, there's Mario Kart. So thank you all for watching, and goodbye. Hello. Make sure to subscribe.